Hi, I'm Leslie McVeigh, and this is CTN Member Highlights. Today we're featuring Keeping Kids Safe, and with me today is Michael Mercer and Betty Reynolds. Hi. 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 Welcome. This is, it's nice to have you here, but the subject we're talking about is not so nice. Keeping Kids Safe is concerned with um, helping children who are being bullied. Is that correct? Bullied is, is one issue that we, uh, we uh, try to teach uh, educators and parents. But keeping kids safe also, we have everything from child ID programs that we have, uh, we go into schools and we identify kids through fingerprints, we take pictures and uh, use a smart ID stick which uh, gives all the information that the parent can need in case the child is abducted. We also have uh, educational um, uh, seminars that we teach uh, even the smaller grades like kid escape, child escape from uh, predators. And we teach uh, uh, cyberbullying, internet safety courses. We teach even up into mm -hmm. older grades, uh, uh, girls like uh, DateScape. And uh, so it, it's all about prevention and education uh, right. for all our kids. And the um, information you get, the fingerprints and all of that, goes to the parents. Absolutely. It's not sent out in, on the internet no, or anything. No, no. Everything is sent right to the parents. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the, the fingerprints and all the vital information that the police officer, I'm a retired police officer, so all the vital information that is uh, necessary for a uh, local department or a state department agency, police agency, can help find that child a lot quicker. Uh, so that parent will have either a, like a little flash drive, which we call the Smart ID Stick, mm -hmm. or a CD-ROM that the police officer can put right into his computer and ascertain all the information needed to help um, uh, move quickly to finding that child. Yeah, and we're finding more and more of these things with children disappearing and, mm -hmm. and, and to have something like that I suppose is, is quite helpful. Now, you have a big event coming up in May and uh, it's, it's geared toward bullying. We're hearing more and more about that as well. Tell us a little bit about what the event is, where it will be held, and why you thought this was important to do. Well, the, I'll uh, let uh, mm -hmm. Betty talk about the bullying event that we have coming up. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is our second uh, annual bullying event, and actually it's, it's really be inspired and take a stand against bullying. It's, it's really an event that's meant to inspire and empower people to go back into the community, back into their schools, and be a voice for these kids because there, you know, there, are, there needs to be pl you know, programs in place to, to help them and why we're raising money for three organizations, Keeping Kids Safe, Bikers Against Bullying, and the JD Foundation. All have different programs, all can help the schools, and we have some incredible entertainers. This will be on May 9th from 5 to 9 uh, at night uh, at the Portland Elks Lodge uh, right on Congress Street, out of Congress Street. And uh, we've got Jillian Jensen from The X Factor who basically brought all the judges to tears with her story, her singing. Jim Mayer from the Jimmy Buffett Band called Uncle Jim has also programs for schools. Uh, Shannon Seelig also from Maine who just came out with her first album and co-wrote a song with Jim called Show Me the Light because two 10-year-old girls committed suicide from bullying. So there's, mm -hmm. there's, a very, there's a lot of synergistic people there. The Bayo Twins who also knew Jillian Gen Jensen met her at, um, down in Boston where she lives um, when they filmed the movie Bullied to Silence. So we have all, all I incredible entertainers. Nancy Silberkleit, co-CEO from Archie Comic Books, came out with their first anti-bullying comic book. Oh, and great. she will be giving out 100 copies of those as well. Amazing. We have a lot of things that we're giving out free. This is a donation-only event. And um, there will be all kinds of food from Famous Dave's, um, Pat's Pizza yeah, from yeah. the Old Port, and Molly's Cupcakes. So, so it will be an event, but will it also be an educational thing as well as having the entertainers. Will Absolutely. you have information there? There will be all kinds of information for people to take back into the mm -hmm. community, into their schools and say th we need some help, you know, and, and get these organizations into the schools and and, and help be a them voice. understand Absolutely. what they can do right. to um, right. have you been getting a good response to this event? Mm -hmm. I, th I think so. Yeah. And I, and I've been working on it since since last September. I'm trying to get more schools on board to be part of the contest, the mm -hmm. poster making contest, poems and essays, one page essay, where kids can just, you know, uh, write how, how can we make this world a better place? Yeah. How can I make a difference? Or maybe about their bullying experience. Right. And I think that's key is to go to the children and mm -hmm. ask them 
What are your feelings? Or, right. Or even some kids who are considered bullies. You mm -hmm. know, why why is right. it? Why are you doing this? Right. And, right. and have them write about it. I right. Think that expressing themselves in art. Or I think getting them to, to think in a more positive mm -hmm. direction is how can I make this world a better place? Well, how mm -hmm. do we um, find out a little bit more about this if people want to go? Is okay. there a web page? Yep. Sure. You, uh, you can, for keeping kids safe, you mm -hmm. can go to www dot keeping kids safe all one word mm -hmm. dot us mm -hmm. and uh, that could be there's a link for the events page and on that event uh, will be our May ninth uh, event mm -hmm. that Betty just spoke about right okay. and you can also go to bigmoocharlie.com and go to the May uh, calendar and, and see it there well it sounds like a, a great project and I think you'll have a wonderful turnout and thank you for doing this thank you great. thank you Leslie I appreciate it Thank you.